Dynamic relaxation is a numerical method which, among other things, can be used to form finding for cable and fabric structures. The aim is to find a geometry where all forces are in equilibrium. In the past this was done by direct modeling, using hanging chains and weights, or by using soap films, which have the property of adjusting to find a minimal surface. The dynamic relaxation method is based on discretizing the continuum under consideration by lumping the mass at nodes and defining the relationship between nodes in terms of stiffness. The system oscillates about the equilibrium position under the influence of loads. An iterative process is followed by simulating a pseudo-dynamic process in time, with each iteration based on an update of the geometry. Similar to leapfrog integration and related to velocity verlet integration. Main equations use considering Newton's second law of motion in the direction at the th node at time, where is the residual force is the nodal mass is the nodal acceleration. Note that fictitious nodal masses may be chosen to speed up the process of form finding. The relationship between the speed the geometry and the residuals can be obtained by performing a double numerical integration of the acceleration. Where is the time interval between two updates? By the principle of equilibrium of forces, the relationship between the residuals and the geometry can be obtained. Where is the applied load component is the tension in link between nodes and is the length of the link. The sum must cover the forces in all the connections between the node and other nodes. By repeating the use of the relationship between the residuals and the geometry, and the relationship between the geometry and the residual, the pseudodynamic process is simulated. Iteration steps 1. Set the initial kinetic energy and all nodal velocity components to zero. 2. Compute the geometry set and the applied load component. 3. Compute the residual. 4. Reset the residuals of constrained nodes to 0. 5. Update velocity and coordinates. 6. Return to step 3 until the structure is in static equilibrium damping. It is possible to make dynamic relaxation more computationally efficient by using damping. There are two methods of damping. Viscous damping, which assumes that connection between the nodes has a viscous force component. Kinetic energy damping, where the coordinates at peak kinetic energy are calculated, then updates the geometry to this position and resets the velocity to zero. The advantage of viscous damping is that it represents the reality of a cable with viscous properties. Moreover, it is easy to realize because the speed is already computed. The kinetic energy damping is an artificial damping which is not a real effect, but offers a drastic reduction in the number of iterations required to find a solution. However, there is a computational penalty in that the kinetic energy and peak location must be calculated, after which the geometry has to be updated to this position.